One hour and 40 minutes, that's how long Europe's latest space mission is due to last. The five-metre-long unmanned IXV, which took off a few minutes ago, is designed to work out how best to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. William Hildebrandt has more. This isn't your parent's spaceship. Meet the intermediate experimental vehicle. Those close to it call it the IXV. Despite its appearance, the purpose of the craft is similar to NASA's now-retired space shuttles. Those crafts were the world's first reusable spacecrafts, and they were 122 feet long. While the IXV is different, not only because it's wingless, but because it's about the size of a car. Its cone-shaped body enhances maneuverability. The IXV will separate from the rocket 320 kilometers above the Earth's surface, then coast up to an altitude of 450 kilometers before re-entering the atmosphere. And that is the challenge. Europe has advanced launching and orbiting technology, but has trailed the U.S. for years when it comes to landing. Space shuttles carried out controlled landings on runways rather than splashing in the middle of an ocean, as the IXV is expected to do. But it could be the first step towards Europe having its own reusable space plane in the future, that would bring down costs and allow scientists to bring back samples from comets, moons, and maybe one day, planets.